Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Okay, so I'll read you some song names. You tell me the one you want me to play. Yeah. Uh, Heartbreak Boulevard, Don't Care About Nothing, Shout It Out. Heartbreak Boulevard. This is my last episode this time around with my buddy Ray Granville. Ray's a bro. He asked me at the end of the last episode if he could play me a track. And I said, heck yeah, you can, man. So this is a Swedish metal band. I can't say the name of the title now, Heartbreak Boulevard, without thinking in my head, Heartbreak Boulevard. <laughs> it's funny. So anyway, uh, who's Ray Gronville? He's a tech, he's a roadie, he's a sound guy, he's worked for Hammer, Fall, Hinder, Venom, Opeth, Starship, Adam 812, Amon, Amarth, Rat, Thin Lizzy, Survivor, Bad Company, Morbid Angel, Wasp, Prong, Michael Shanker, and Arch Enemy. We'll see what we think about this band together, huh? I also want to throw a shout out and a thank you to the people at Pescavore Seafood for sending me more ahi tuna. I really like it. It's become one of my favorite treats. It's very healthy. It's high in protein. And I enjoy it. I've been eating it as a snack. So thank you for still thinking of me. I really appreciate it. Let's jump into this together. Let's see what we think. Okay, so this is a song that was selected by you, Ray. So you're gonna you're gonna open my ears to something new. It's a band called Shotgun Messiah. The track's called Heartbreak Boulevard, and uh, I hope I enjoy it, man. It, it's 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 old school rock and roll. All right, I'm in. I'm excited. Yeah, that let's check it out. Yeah. 
Did you work for them ever? I, I worked for them when they were called they were called Kingpin when they were in Sweden. And then they got signed to a record company in I think it was Epic Records and they moved to LA and apparently there was another band called Kingpin in the US, so they had to change their name to Shotgun Messiah. Oh. So my thoughts are I like his gravelly voice. There's yeah. a toughness to it that I didn't hear a lot of in that genre of music. You know, they 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 would do like the Sebastian Bach approach, this beautiful voice. Right. Tough grittiness to it. And then we we began this, if you remember, talking about bass, right? And oh, that yeah. bass is dirty and it's cool. You can yeah. hear the strings being hit. And yeah. I, oh yeah. And then uh when he entered into his guitar solo, I was like, "Well, oh, precision though, like precision." Oh yeah. What it, one of the way? I mean, there was a bunch of Swedish guys that moved to LA, and we lived in the same apartment complex. That, that's how I met him. And did they get banned from here too? <laughs> I don't know if they got banned. I don't know where they live now. Yeah. I used to. I, I know I play soccer with a guitar player. Oh, right on. In in LA. <laughs> Dude, you are. You're Americanized. It's soccer. <laughs> wow. It's not football. It's soccer. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I think uh, I think maybe sometime you can you can you can play me some Swedish stuff, and I'll listen to some new tracks. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got. I'm gonna make a list of Swedish heavy metal bands that you need to listen to. All right. That that, that really put a platform to at least what I think. Well, not I think a lot of people think is is the foundation of heavy metal coming from that. Yeah, you know I mean, there's so many different, there's so many different uh, like approaches. Yeah, yeah, because you get like European metal, you got the English metal with Judas Priest and Maiden and all that, and then you have the obviously like the uh, San Francisco Bay Area metal, and then you got the New York metal, which is overkill and all those bands and then the tampa bay so there's so many different genres of metal but sweden was so i don't know yeah instrument and they're like they were so saturated for a small country with eight million people and you have a thousand bands coming out of it yeah it's cool huh when yeah it's 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 pretty amazing and I've been fortunate enough to travel around the world with at least a handful of them. And uh, well, I, send me the list, and then uh, maybe if you don't mind, you can join me and give me some background while we listen. Yeah, All for right, sure. Cool. I cool. mean, that sounds great, man. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.